everybody, Carl Shroof here from Snorkel.tv, and in today's episode of Animate CC Beginner Pitfalls, I'm going to help you understand the differences between merge drawing mode and object drawing mode. These two drawing modes are drastically different, and if you inadvertently switch between modes, you could pull your hair out. Let me explain. So imagine you're drawing a bunch of yellow squares and you're real happy with the way they look and you're used to just selecting them and moving them around and life is all good and then all of a sudden your cat yeah. walks across the yeah. keyboard and the next time you draw a rectangle, hmm, it goes behind. Oh, that's a little bit strange. And then you draw a few more and when you go to move them around, oh, you're taking the fill away from the stroke? What's that? This one's all cut up. This stroke bends out of here. You can actually move all the strokes at once. <gasps> what happened? Well, you switched drawing modes. So, there are two distinct drawing modes in Animate CC, and the only way you get between them is by hitting this little button down here or using the J shortcut that your cat is very fond of. So in order to understand these drawing modes, let me first start with telling you how merge drawing mode works. All right, so the first important rule of merge drawing mode is that overlapping objects of the same color on the same layer will merge together. Let me show you how that works. So I'm gonna take my oval tool and draw an orange circle. And on the same layer, I'm going to draw another orange circle. Well, they're not overlapping, so they're totally completely independent objects. However, if I take this one here and move it to overlap that one, while it's still highlighted, I can still sort of do what I want and move it separately. However, once it's deselected, whoosh, Flash does some magic and those two objects merge together. So objects of the same color on the same layer when they overlap will merge together. Next, I wanna show you how in merge drawing mode, objects of different colors on the same layer will cut into each other. All right, so let me get rid of that thing and let me draw another orange circle. And then I'm gonna choose another color and I'll draw another orange circle like this. Hmm, I've said this a few times that I'm not really a designer, but I get the feeling a major credit card company could really use something like this as their logo. Well, anyway, now that these two shapes are overlapping, if I select this one, <gasps> I cut into that one. And now some people who come from like an illustrator background kind of freak out when they first experience this. And, you know, I really kind of like it because it allows you to draw some shapes that are kind of complex without doing any really difficult work with the pen tool. Now the third rule of merge mode is that stroke and fills are separate objects. Let me illustrate this very quickly. I'm going to give my stroke a color of black. And now when I draw an oval, you'll see that it is an orange circle with a black stroke. If I use my selection tool to click on it, you'll notice that the fill gets highlighted. And in the properties panel, I can then change that fill to a different color if I want. But I can also take that fill and remove it from the stroke. Ah, again, people from Illustrator kind of freak out over this, but it's also pretty cool to know that you can do this. I'm gonna select everything and delete it. And let me just draw a rectangle now and show you that I can select individual sides of a rectangle and pull them off. And again, you I know the Illustrator people are going to uh, get pretty crazy, but again, all these things are actually pretty cool features. So the fact that strokes and fills are separate leads us to our next rule, and that is that Strokes can be used to slice fills. What does that mean? Well, let's see. Let me select all and get rid of everything. And I'm going to use my oval tool again, and I'm going to draw a circle. So I can select the stroke separately. And again, in the properties panel, I could change its thickness, its style, blah, blah, blah. But I wanna show you that I can then move it. And then now I can slice this into two separate shapes. Oh, <gasps> how do you do it? You know, so this think of the strokes as acting literally as a knife, if you will. All right. And this can be pretty cool for a number of reasons. So let me just go and draw another circle. 
I could do something like select the entire circle. You know, let me just jump to my align panel. This is something I've done a thousand times and center that circle perfectly. And then I could take a line and drag it and draw it like that. And again, I can select it. And then if I use my align panel, I can boom it right to the middle of the stage. And then now I can make a two-toned circle with different colors. We can make it a little bit brighter up top if you want to. Bah -bah. And so now I have a perfect two-toned circle and I can get rid of all of this stuff around the edge and do a little of that and very nice. So I used a stroke there to cut into a fill. In a future lesson, I'll show you how I drew this cute little bee just using the features of merge drawing mode. But before I get into anything like that, let's talk about how object drawing mode works. In object drawing mode, objects do not destroy each other or merge together, and fills and strokes are grouped together. Let me illustrate. On the stage here, I have a square that was drawn with merge mode, so I can select the fill and the stroke separately. Let me go over to my rectangle tool, and the difference between drawing something in merge mode and object drawing mode is this little icon down here, this button for object drawing. I'm going to press it to turn object drawing on, and then now the next time I draw a rectangle or a square, it's gonna look pretty much the same, but when I click on it, notice that it has this border around it here, okay? When I go to the properties panel, it tells me it is a drawing object. When I click on this one over here, that's just a shape. I've selected the fill. I can select the shape of that stroke. But this one here is a drawing object. So I'm just gonna change the color of that drawing object. With it selected, I can change its fill color, and I can also change its stroke color at once. So we'll just make it some stupid purple. And I can you know, draw another one right next to it and these things can overlap as much as they want and they're never going to destroy each other or merge together. I cannot take the stroke off of this one and move it somewhere else, okay? Remember, with merge mode, I could take a stroke off and I could use it to cut, but in object drawing mode, the stroke and fill are grouped together and they do not destroy each other. One thing that's cool about object drawing mode is that even though I can't take the stroke off of the fill, if I roll over, I can still deform those strokes just like I would in the merge mode version. So like I said before, I'm a big fan of merge mode, but both different modes have their strengths and weaknesses. You just gotta use the right one for the right job and choose the one you're comfortable with. Hopefully now you understand the key differences and you'll know what to do if you ever inadvertently switch into the other mode. And that can happen just by hitting the J key. Hey, what's up? Real quick, if you liked the video, please consider giving a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to get notified when new videos come out, just click that little bell. Ding dong. If you got any comments, leave them below. I'll read every one and do my best to help you. Have an awesome day. Ooh,